Good morning. It is great to have you with us on this holiday Monday, May the 23rd, wherever you are. Thank you very much for choosing us to wake up with you this morning. Our top stories today. Fire races through a townhouse complex on Vancouver Island. And how the flames could not snuff out the fun at one birthday party in Surrey. That is uh, another story that we have coming up for you. There you go. That's the one in just a couple of minutes. Good morning. We're underneath some cloud cover, even a slight chance to see a few isolated showers. Breaks as we get in towards the afternoon. More sunshine in our long-range forecast. I'll show you when and how warm. All coming up very shortly. Over to you, Caitlin, and good morning. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, everybody. So holiday morning traffic, what that means for traffic on the roads as well as at the borders and ferries coming up. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News Morning. Good morning. So three people are recovering in hospital this morning as police in Surrey ask witnesses to a horrendous fatal crash. Arson investigation and suspicious fire overnight badly damages a Burnaby business. Train station scare. The bomb squad robot is deployed to deal with a suspicious package. And they're calling her the Wookiee Queen. A Texas mom's Chewbacca video goes super viral. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News at Noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Robin is off today. Arson is being investigated as the possible cause of a fire that badly damaged a Burnaby business overnight. Another bad crash on the Haney Bypass. Area residents wonder how many more people will be hurt before the road is fixed. Suspicious fire. Investigators still on scene after a huge fire badly damages a Saanich townhouse. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News at 5. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Robin is off today. A number of families are homeless after what's now being called a suspicious fire. It is a, a positive step. There's so much more to do. A major boost for Surrey schools. Why some say it's still not enough. Emergency response. Yeah. The police yeah. guys say go inside directly now. Bizarre circumstances prompt police to bring out the big guns. And stepping over the line. Okay, we had a pretty late night last night. Canadian travelers in hot water for disrespecting Yellowstone Park. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News Hour at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Relief is finally coming to help tackle the overcrowding crisis in Surrey schools. Good morning, it is Saturday, May 21st. Thanks for being with us. Our top stories for you today. An elderly couple forced out of their Coquitlam home overnight by a two alarm fire. Investigators are at the scene. And more people opting to stay in BC this Victoria Day long weekend. We'll tell you what's keeping them at home. Wes Luong with us from Global Okanagan today. Good morning, everybody. And this is a beautiful picture of Terrace. That is our small town feature today. What you need to know in weather, well, the northern parts of British Columbia, mainly sunny uh, for the north coast. Few clouds, though, in the BCP, southern British Columbia, there is a shower risk. I'll have all your weather details coming up shortly. Chanel. Good morning, everyone. It's semi-final Saturday at the World Championships. Canada taking on the Americans a little bit later this morning. We'll tell you which team the winner of that game will play in the gold medal game. Plus, the West Kelowna Warriors are one win away from the RBC Cup final. All that coming up a little bit later in sports. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News Morning. Thanks for being with us on this Saturday morning. An elderly couple has been forced from their home in Coquitlam. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News at Noon. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. Lynn is off today. Breaking news in Surrey this hour. A fire has erupted at a fast food restaurant. Holiday danger. The roads again prove perilous this Victoria Day long weekend. Selling or selling out. Victoria, the real estate marketing tactic first seen in Vancouver, spreads to the capital region. 
and wildfire cash crop what's growing out of the ashes of last year's Bobtail Lake fire. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News Hour at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. The Victoria Day holiday weekend is notoriously known as a dangerous one on the roads. And once again, that's been proven true this weekend. Another deadly accident this long weekend. Two people are killed in Surrey. Searching for a 15-year-old boy in northern B.C., where is Denny Poole? And the firefighters who saved a Burger King and a little girl's birthday party. You're watching Global B.C. This is Global News at 11. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. And we begin in Saanich on Vancouver Island, where fire tore through a new multifamily townhouse complex. Good afternoon. Here's what's coming up today on BC One. A BC man is facing charges accused of posing as a Fort, McMe Fort McMurray fire victim to get free stuff. And four townhouses suffer extensive damage on Vancouver Island and investigators are calling this blaze suspicious. Now, BC One, BC's News 24-7. Good afternoon. A shocking story to report from Alberta today. A Victoria man is facing charges. He is accused of posing as a Fort McMurray fire evacuee.